So let's get this car up and running. It's actually another day. So let's get this car up and running. It's been sitting for a couple of days. Um, reason being is because I've been working 10 hour shifts today. I got out early a little bit. I did an eight hour shift. So I was here home a little early. So gives me a little time to work on this car and get it up and running. Um, last time we left off, the motor mounts were already in. Um, one of the axles is already in. Uh, I just need to put in the other one and put everything back together. So that's what I'm going to do. Try to knock out as much as possible right now and start working it little by little after work. You know, I need to get this car up and running. So I'll start with the axles. I'm going to do this axle. Uh, the other axle is already in. I just got to put the hub assembly back on. It's kind of dark. So yeah let's get to it but you see the wheel assembly still off the axles in there so let me guess let's see how much i get done in like the next two hours and shit So this one's already done. I just need to put the wheel. I put the ones for the strut and the ones for the tie rod. And I put the axle. Uh, not gonna put the wheel because I think I need to put one of the headers bolt, the bracket. I didn't think I put it. I'm gonna move on to this one. The axle's already bolted on. I just need to put the hub back in place. So let's get to it right now. Move all this stuff over there. So there it is this one's already on um, I'm not putting the wheel just in case I do have to go in the bottom I did put the header bolt I just noticed I saw it right now so I'm just gonna put all this wire harness everything the cables and stuff like that back together and hopefully I'm able to turn it on tonight um, which I doubt it so if not I'll turn it on tomorrow for sure you know, I need to get this car up and running already. So there, I, I'm going to stop here. I did both the hubs here. This one and that side over there. I did the ground here, the cables, bolted them on, the cable, the transmission speed sensor, and uh, the solenoid right here also. This is the reason why I didn't bring it down because I have to connect the power steering pump that I still have to connect over there. Um, both the hose, the return and the, and the other one. So I'm glad I didn't drop it. Um, I put these coolant hoses on already and that's about it for today uh, tomorrow I'll finish the rest of the wiring put the compressor on the alternator on and the little bit of stuff that I have so we're back um, we're actually gonna put new brakes uh, needs brakes so I'm already here good thing I didn't put the wheels back on and as you can see right there it's already almost done this side over here is not that bad but this one is going out the one in the back so I'm gonna replace it pretty easy just take out these two bolts that bolt right here and the bolt right here I believe they're 14s take them out and then should come out then just compress the piston and put the new brakes Take out the old ones put the new ones and that's it so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna replace these and of course the other side i haven't even seen how bad this one is 
Uh, this was not that bad, at least the back one. But I'm pretty sure the front one is almost gone. So good thing I didn't put the tires. Let me get that and then just put everything back together. Hopefully, um, I get it up and running tonight. Let's see how much I do tonight before my girl comes. She's still working. Good thing tomorrow I'm not working, so let's finish it up. If I don't finish it up today, I'm finish it up tomorrow morning. You know? Which I am, because I gotta bleed it, and it's already dark. And I don't want to turn this on and bleed it tonight if I do get it up and running. Um, so I might have to finish it up tomorrow, just bleed it up tomorrow and go for a test drive. So there it is, new pads are in. And the piston is already compressed all the way back. These are the new ones. And those are the old ones. They already wear out. Check it out. Basically didn't have that much life anymore. This one had a little bit. But I'm surprised they were not um, squeaking anymore. Since they didn't have the little bar. But. Oh well. Good thing I caught on to them before it messed up my rotors. So let me finish up this side and then move on to the next one. Sorry, Okami was in the way of the camera. But these are not that bad or weren't as bad as the other one they still needed to get replaced but you could see the line in the middle so gotta compress that piston in and then put these new ones in and put everything back together Brakes are done. Now to work on the motor over here. Compressor and alternator is already installed. All the wiring to the starter. Um, sorry install same thing here. I just need the manifold uh, I'm gonna do a belt, but we're putting a new belt uh, Don't use this part number because this one's for the MWR Pulleys if you have the water and the alternator. So if you have that you could use this one I'm gonna put that on and then intake manifold and the reservoir intake and I still haven't done the ones in the back yet uh, the power steering pump and then the air pump that's all that's left I connected the ECU you uh, need to do the fuel rail I did put some OEM injectors it had those aftermarket so yeah let's get this car finished so I can start it up tomorrow morning and put fluid don't forget about fluids um, Toyota Red and also uh transmission fluid which i am gonna put mt90 with some synchro mesh pens oil so this shit actually works it will help you with the synchros and the grinding so i am gonna put mt90 i believe i have there it is the mt90 i have i always have extra so Let's get ready to do all this. And yeah, I forgot. I did torque the knock sensor. It is very crucial you do um, torque it. This one is 15. Uh, the other one's like 33, I believe. 
This is the O2 and plus. The other one's like 33. This is So there it is. Um, put the fuel rail. I put all this wire harness right here. The intake manifold is still not bolted on. I need to bolt that on. Cooling lines already done. Uh, just got to do the intake and the air pump and the power steering pump, which I'm gonna leave it for tomorrow. My girl already got home, so. Take a quick shower, take some rest, and finish it up tomorrow.